Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the second round here in the Long Beach State Dynasty. We play our first 30 win team in this series, and here we go. Appalachian State 20 game winning streak. They are very, very underrated in this tournament. I'm surprised they got put in our bracket. This is a very good team. This team could go all the way, but they have to go through us. They have a pretty good balance of guard play and big men. Uh, Edwards is a double-double player. And then Derek Copeland, also a double-double player, 11 and 10. But this team is very, very deep, very, very stacked. So we're going to have our work cut out in this game 20 game win streak is not easy to do and they went undefeated 17 and 0 in conference play so let's get into this action dt johnson wins the tip the player of the year let's see if he has another big performance this game first play we work it inside two a minute and in one he gets the foul call and right away goes up strong with it and it's good. Number 34, DT Johnson. He's definitely been dominant for us. We finally learned how to play with a big man as he hits the free throw. And it's 3-0 to start this game. So here's Appalachian State at the top, driving to the basket. And a tough shot. He gets that one to go. And it is 2-3. So here we are in the corner with Gilcher. He shoots the three, and he nails it. I love me some Gilcher, man. He is so good. And he knocks that one down six to two. Here's DT getting to the bucket. He draws the foul once again on Jamal Edwards. We have him in foul trouble already. He is their best big man on the team. And here's Madison for mid range. He knocks it down 10 to four. Is now here comes Appalachian State the other way. There is Jason Spencer pass to the right side. That's Copeland who hits the jump shot. It's good. And Derek Copeland is another dodo -do player for them. He's very, very good on the offensive and defensive end. So here we go up by six. Here's Carlos getting to the bucket. He gets some contact, but DT Johnson on the boards. He snags it and puts it back in. Second chance efforts from DT. Very, very good this season. I think he's been the best offensive rebounder that we've had in this series. You could definitely tell by the way he goes up and snags them hard off the glass. Here he is in transition and gets the foul. And one. I think DT Johnson is just on a tear. He's feeling it. Look at the contact and get to it. The lefty to go off of the glass. So 10 point lead here early on, but here is Appalachian State answering back that time. As now here's Carlos calling for the pick up by eight. Here's Man Madison going to the bucket. He's got six of his own. It looks like Madison and DT are going crazy so far. Here's DT, a nice pass inside by Alexander Madison, Alexander Madison, Anthony Madison. And now it's a 23-13 game. Madison with the steal this time. He's going to go all the way with the contact, and he will draw the foul on Barr. And he goes to the free throw line, averaging 18-5 this season, 18-6 more like it, as he knocks down the free throw line. Nice on the first free throw and then knocks down the second. It's a 12 point lead early on. Let's see if we can just blow out a 30 win team. That would be insane. But Copeland inside, he gets the bucket. Back to an eight point game now. DT on the inside, getting double teamed in it today and one. Look at the height advantage that DT has over these guys. Copeland's only six foot eight. They try to bring the help and it ends up being a foul in an and one. So, so it looks like DT's out of the game. So Madison just pulls the three step back and everything. He's got 11 in the first half. So 31-19, here's DT back into the game already. On the wing, drives to the bucket and draws another foul. Nobody can guard him this game. So here's DT inbounding, he gets deflected, but he takes it up the court himself. Passes to the right side, it's Ace Jenkins off the bench for the three, 35 to 21. So now a pass inside. That's missed. Offensive defensive rebound by Anthony Madison. He's pushing it up the court. This time looking to the corner. It's deflected. It's saved, but Gilcher has it. And he takes it all the way to the bucket and draws the foul. And he's going to go to the free throw line. He's averaging seven points a game this season. He's been very, very good. 
very efficient. He's been that catch-and-shoot player that we've needed at the two and also plays some good defense. He knocks down the first and the second, 37-25. to 25. So now here we are with just about two minutes left. Here is Jenkins getting it ripped away, but we get it back. Madison from three again. He's feeling it. 41 to 27. He's got 14 in the first half. As now there's under two minutes. Here's a pass to the corner. They don't take the open three, but pass inside and draw the foul. Lawrence throws it up, and Ace Jenkins gets called for the foul. So down to an 11-point game. This is a jump shot and blocked. Madison was all over that one. Here is Trey Burton off the bench. Pass it to the right side. Madison's open again, and he hits the three. 14-point lead. Madison's got 17 in the first half. But here's Lawrence the other way. He misses that jump shot, and here we go. Here is Gilcher pushing up the court. Madison in the corner. He's looking for him. One last shot at the buzzer, and it is off. But a great first half by Madison and DT Johnson. The two freshmen dominate this game 46 to 32. Second half should be the same. So both of our freshmen have 17 points and 16 points respectively. Let's see if we can close this game out. As here is Carlos now starting out with a fadeaway hook shot. I don't even know what that was. That wasn't even a hook shot. It was just kind of like a floater fadeaway. And now here we are up by 10, 48-38. Gilcher in the corner, nails the three. And Gilcher so good at that 12-point game now. Madison, they send the double team to him. Back out to Gilcher again, and he hits his second straight three. 61-46 to 46 now. DT up at the top getting double teamed. You got to be kidding me. Out to the corner, and Steve Jenkins, 18-point lead now. We're starting to hit everything. It's Madison now handling the ball. And look at this pass inside, DT. That's too easy. You cannot send the double team at Madison and then expect somebody not to be wide open. So here's DT playing some good defense. Defensive rebound this time by Gilcher, pushing up the court. Madison, is he feeling it? He might step back, but no, he goes all the way to the bucket and hits a little shot off of the glass. 71 to 54 at that point. And now here we go with three minutes left. Appalachian State looks like they're outmatched. Steve Jenkins, he stops. He thinks about the three, but now he works it around. This is Madison going baseline, and it's good. 74-55, three minutes to go. Here's a missed shot this time, Appalachian State. We're trying to work it up the court. Madison's already behind the defense. He goes all the way, and one. He draws the foul in transition, 76-55 to now. It looks like Appalachian State just outmatched in this one. Despite going 30-3 and 17-0 and and in conference, Appalachian State does not have enough to hang on. We end up winning this one by 17, but what a game by the freshman Madison and DT. They absolutely dominate this game, and they just cannot be stopped. And even our bench had a good game. DT and Madison combined for 49 points but they were just unstoppable. I mean, when we won a shot with them, we got it. How about Gilcher, though? 11.7 rebounds, three assists, and a block. I mean, the guy is very, very dynamic. Carlos only had two this game. Didn't even need him that much. Five rebounds as well for him, though. A, uh, Steve Jenkins had eight points. Ace had three off the bench, and it was just a great win for us. Copeland had 13, and Manning had 18 for them. But their leading scorer, Jason Spencer, only had two points. I mean, that's a big reason why they lost this game. And we move to 33-2 overall with that win. And we are riding a 29-game win streak heading into the Sweet 16 versus Auburn. On the other side is Cincinnati and Oklahoma. So we'll see who we will face coming up if we win this game. But Auburn, number 13 in the country, and they are good. You want to know why? Because they have two player of the year candidates, and Allen Westgate, their six foot eight center, averaging 21 3, 10 and 3. Wow, what a stat line that is. And then Joe Sothi, who averaged 25 points per game. So they have the highest scoring duo in the country, uh, not the highest scoring trio, though. That went to uh, high point. But this team is just as good as Appalachian State. They are top 15 for a reason. 
And let's just hop into the second half of this game. So it's a six point game now. Here is Safi at the top. Let's see what he can do. Being guarded by Carlos, working around the perimeter. This is a three and it's off, but a rebound and put up and in and off. DT Johnson on the defensive board. He's gonna push it all the way up the court. There's no stopping him. It's an and one. DT runs the floor, throws down the dunk, and it's a nine point game off of that and one fast break dunk. But Auburn does get it back with a three point shot now, back to a six point game. Now here we are on offense, working it around DT. I mean, he is just unstoppable at this point. And now it's an eight point game, working inside to Sathi, and it's a foul on Carlos. And they go to the free throw line, keeping it close here, a six point game. So here's a big man carrying up the court. Gets it right back after a deflection and takes the deep two. That's good, four point game now. Auburn playing some good defense now. Here's a defensive rebound. Carlos has it. He's pushing up the court. He does get stops, but out to the outside. DT gets double teamed now. So Madison at the top makes a fake. Going one way, goes back the other, and almost gets the and one. There's been so many and ones here in this episode, and we go up by six. Now 56 to 50. So here is Madison at the top this time. Getting double teamed again. Back out to Gilcher. In the corner, it's a three. 59 to 50. And now with 11 to go, it looks like they're going to... Let's see if they go to Sothi here. He leads their team in scoring. There he is. He has the ball. Jump shot from deep. And it's going to be off. Defensive rebound by DT. DT pushes it all the way up the court and throws down the dunk. 11-point game. DT is just dynamic. I see shades of Anthony Davis now with him. He can do everything. We don't ask him in college to shoot threes, but he can do it if he really, really needed to. And he's seven feet two. So now 61-50. Here's Sothi who takes the jump shot. It's good. Nine point lead here for LBSU now. So 10 minutes left here. They send the double team and it's not gonna work. DT cuts to the basket and another dunk. How many dunks is he gonna have? So here's Jenkins in the corner, another rebound. DT, this one just bounces right to him, and it's a foul on Shaman James. And now it's 65 to 52, we're on 11 to two run. Here's a pass inside, that's blocked. Nick Miles corrals it and sees DT, passes it to him, let's see what DT does. He gets one man on the ground, and then hop steps his way to a layup, 15 point game. So Kirkland now getting double teamed, back out to the outside, Nick Miles. He hits it, eight minutes to go. That's a 17 point game. But here's Jenkins now in transition and now we're on a roll. Auburn can't keep up with this offense but they finally do get a steal this time. It's Westgate who pushes it up the court. He's gonna drive off the side of the backboard. More defense from DT going the other way. We try the alley-oop, it doesn't work. But Steve Jenkins goes back up hard with it. 71 to 56. We are absolutely dominating this Auburn team who was supposed to be one of the highest scoring teams in the country because of that tandem of Westgate and uh, Sothi. But it looks like they can't keep up in the second half. It was a six point game going into halftime. Here is Gilcher in the corner now, another three. It's now 20 points and it doesn't look like we're going back, man. I mean, we are just dominating at this point. Here's Carlos in the post, just playing with Joe Sothi. He gets it to go. The biggest lead of the game, 22. Can we make it 25? Yes, we can. A deep three by Carlos. We are just running the table now. Two minutes to go. Working it inside. DT goes up strong with it. It's an and one. Foul on Allen Westgate, and we get the and one bucket. DT is just absolutely dominating. And that's how this game goes. DT ends up with 40 plus points in this game. Just absolute dominance. LBSU is gonna head to their, what is it, four straight uh, Elite Eight now. And we're gonna take on the winner of Oklahoma and Texas Tech. But what a dominant performance by this team. 90 to 68. Remember, it was just a six point lead going into halftime. And then at half, teams just don't have enough to keep up with us. 
and we've been doing that all season long. Second halves, we just absolutely blow out teams. This one's no different. 90 to 68. DT finishes with 42, 15, and 4. I mean, the dominance. I mean, you can just see, like, when he gets the ball, he has the speed to push it up the court and take it all the way to the basket, drawing fouls, getting and ones. I mean, the guy is just incredible. And I thought that going into the season, Anthony Madison would be the number one pick in the NBA draft. But I'm thinking, DT, you can't pass up on him. He is a definitely an Anthony Davis clone. And I am looking forward to seeing what he can do at the next level. So it looks like Cincinnati did defeat Oklahoma. They were the number two, oh, number one, I guess number one, number two seed overall. And we will face them next round. I know a lot of you guys ask about Princeton. They actually lost in the first round of their uh, bracket here, 85 to 57 too. It wasn't even close. They lost to Memphis. So Ben Bates is out. He's going to prepare for the NBA draft. And we'll see what happens here in the Elite Eight. I'm not sure anybody can keep up with those. After we just beat Appalachian State, a 30-3 and team, and then absolutely throttled Auburn in the second half, I'm not sure what these teams can do versus us. We are dominating everybody. So that's going to do it here for this episode. Next episode, we'll get the Elite Eight, and we'll see what happens. And we probably, if we make it past the Elite Eight, we might have the Final Four game in the next episode as well. Maybe a doubleheader action. We'll have to see. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned, let's get it, let's go. I'm about my pledge, bitch, I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quit to say my piece, I'm so after school special, she brainy but them jeans looking like...